Hi, this is Danica with She Tried It, and today I am going to make a name sign using a jigsaw. So to get started, I have my dust mask, and here is the sign that I'm going to be making. So this is a name sign that I am going to be making. I created the name and printed it out. And use some contact paper for my half inch MDF is what I'm using for the name put contact paper on top of that and then I use some spray adhesive to adhere the name so that the name is not glued to the MDF it's glued to the contact paper and when I'm done it's gonna be a lot easier to just pull that off of the MDF and there's not gonna be any glue left over what I'm going to do now is drill pilot holes all throughout the sign so that I can easily get my jigsaw blade in there. I'm going to be using a scroll blade on my jigsaw. A scroll blade will allow me to do all of these curves with ease, whereas a regular blade wouldn't allow me to do that. Sorry, I got to get this get my angle right so you guys can see everything that I'm doing sorry for the wobbliness my camera person is taking a nap so it's just me this is the name remember I'm gonna start drilling the pilot holes so I can get inside of the curves and when I start cutting the sign I'm also gonna drill pilot holes on the outside so that I'm not I'm gonna drill pilot holes here so that when I start cutting around the outside of the name, I'm not gonna come into my board and cut that in half because it will create a weak point. I'm gonna try to keep the name as solid as possible. And then when it cuts out, it's gonna be one whole thing. So here we go. I'm about to start drilling the pilot holes. I'm using a 7 30 seconds drill bit because I know that's big enough for my jigsaw blade to go through. And I just have some saw horses that I'm cutting on top of. So here I go. The more pilot holes, the better. that are a part of the P. We're gonna start with those. I'm gonna make sure I have clearance on my saw horse that I'm not cutting through any part of that. And easy does it. It's not a, it's not a race. We wanna finish well and I finish first. So this is where my pilot hole comes in handy because I'm going to go in here and then make this curve and then come back and clean up this corner. Cut out. 
of this hole, all the stuff now is for me to come back and get this corner. And then the inside of the P is going to be cut out. All right, so that's all I'm gonna show for the inside of the letters. And when I'm ready to cut the outside, I'll be back. All right, so I have all of my insides cut out. The P, my A, and my E. So now what I need to do is use my pilot holes and just go in and trace the outline of the letter. Remember, I don't wanna come in from any of the outside points because it's gonna cause a break gonna cause a weak spot so I got all of these nice little pilot holes drilled and all that's left for me to do is just to start weaving in and out so I'll go ahead and start over here get some kickback that's when the saw jerks back so I'm gonna go into my line and go here Come 
in this line that I just went to and get this corner. Now this is, now that this part is cut out, what I'm going to do is take some tape. hit it from the underside too. What I'm doing is taping the sign together so that it stays reinforced. I'm, I don't want any part of it sagging. I'm taping it from the underside over here. Yes, I'm too lazy to flip the board over. Okay, so that's going to help my stability to remain. And I'm just going to continue cutting. I'll do a couple more before I just finish this off camera. Got my saw. Um, I'm going to come in from this line that I already did, go here, and then follow this curve. I'm stopping every time I get to a point and then I'm gonna start from a different section and then meet the point somebody that's more skilled probably has a different method of doing this okay I stopped because I came out a little bit too far I don't want to continue on that path, so I'm going to come in from my pilot hole and come down to get that other side of the A. Oh, see, I didn't wait until my saw was done and when it moved. So I'm going to come in here and beat this line up there. I got a little section that fell out, but this part that's done, I'm going to tape this together to try to keep my board stable. Do this curve, that curve. All right, so I'm going to finish the rest off camera and we'll see how the sign turns out. tape is there remember to reinforce the sign so that as it um, as I cut it doesn't get so weak that it breaks so I'm going to tape I'm trying to fix this dust mask so I'm going to start taking off the tape 
see what we're working with, making sure it's taped on the back side too. Making sure I cut everything off. That's cut out. Some parts I'm, I will go back in and sand. And I'm just making sure that every part of the sign has been cut. All right, it has, so. It's one part of the K that's not cut all the way out. So I'm just gonna take the jigsaw and nick it. And we have ourselves a sign. So I'll have to do a better angle. Oh, I can come this way. Boo! Here we go. Jigsaw. So I'm gonna sand in the places that needed to be rounded more, like right here, right here. But this time was too big for my jigsaw, so I had to break out I mean, it was too big for my scroll saw, so I had to break out the jigsaw. That is how you cut out a sign using a jigsaw. So just to recap, I printed out my sign, cut my half inch MDF to fit the sign. And then I took some clear contact paper, laid that on top of the MDF, took some spray adhesive, just uh, sprayed it on my sign, sprayed it on the paper sign, put that on top of the contact paper. And then I drilled my pilot holes. Every letter that has an inside cut out, like the P, the A, and the E, and the swirlies that were around the P. And I put pilot holes all around the outside of the letter so that when I cut out the word, it was cut from the inside of the MDF. I didn't do any split cuts and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So I have my name and all I have to do, there it is. So from my end, somehow my video is backwards because I'm a novice at this, but uh, this is what my name is looking like. I'll show you what my board looks like. See when I'm done, this is what my board, this was the back side, I had tape on it. That's my MDF sign. You can see all of my pilot holes around the outside of the sign. All these holes here, and I would just put my blade in. I didn't need all of the holes, but it was just good to have them. So I hope somebody has fun cutting out a jigsaw sign. This baby is 45, 46 inches, something like that. Humongous sign. Next video is going to be me painting the MDF sign.